Hi, Vinay from V Competency Tech, and uh, uh, here I will explain that how we can uh, connect .NET with uh, MongoDB. So, if I open MongoDB, see there is a one um, database, my first DB, and there is a one table. This table has one, two, three columns. So, this is the name, address, and a pin. Uh, some this is a pin looks uh, spelling mistake I'll change this later so <coughs> there is a ID it is auto generated there is a name column there is address column so first we will see how we can connect it with the, the uh, database so uh, I'll go to the dot net so I have installed here uh, ODBC driver for Mongo. This you can ins install from uh, uh, external option. No. extension menu so here if you write the mongo so there is a mongo db odbc driver that you can install a uh, mongo db odbc driver uh, this you can install and uh, there is a mongodb ado.net provider this you can install uh, we'll go one by one how we can connect uh, with odbc so uh, i'll go one by one so this video uh, i am connecting with uh, mongodb odbc driver this i have installed and after installation after installation if you see the uh, what is called uh, administrator tool one minute control panel under control panel not here let's see mm. see this is installed here devout odbc driver for mongodb so now we can see mm. drivers There is a control panel. Control panel should have administrative tool. So if you go to administrative tool, you see the ODBC source. Uh, see, this driver is there. The word ODBC driver. So this driver name we can write here in a curly bracket okay so driver name we will give then we have a data source there we will give the local host just write local host and port always 
27017 and this is the database database you can take from here database this is the database my first db okay and see you can see here this is local host 27017 so local host data source port 27017 and this is the database okay so once we will use it so this we are creating a connection and there is i created get data in get data i am calling the connection method opening it and i am creating one object of command odbc command object and passing the this one so if i give comma see this is the uh, sql syntax we need to write command syntax and here connection so here i've written as asterisk select from table this one and that okay now i can write here name comma address okay so these two column i am displaying where the name is vinay and after that there is a uh, odbc adapter i created then i and passing the command so data will get fill here to adapter and from adapter i am filling the data to data set and as it is one uh, result set so table 0 that i am assigning to data grid view and connection close so let's see how it work so let me run it getting connection connection open command creation passing command to odbc adapter creating instance of data set filling the data see if i fill the data here see see when i address mumbai when i address mumbai it is coming now this we are assigning to this table we are assigning to data source of the grid view so let me click it see the data is coming here so if you see here also the table mm server instant pool was destroyed okay what is happening so let me connect again okay let it connect in between we can talk about some other functionality so this is what uh, get data then there is a update data so all uh, sql syntax we can write see update data so here again, again the odbc connection creation open the connection update table 1 set address mumbai where name is vinay so wherever name is this right now what is coming mumbai is coming right so we will change it Uh, to we will change it to jaipur let's try let's see this so see how this connection is apne host name this host name is nothing but data source you can use any connection 
in a connection see here data source use the ho local host uh, if you see here this is the host name this is the data source and port 27017 okay so that you give to port here and database name so database name we'll see later let's let's connect it so i will connect it So let it connect in between. So here we I have written uh, how to update. So all SQL commands I am writing here. Okay. Then update data. Then insert data. So insert data we can write. We can get the connection, open connection. These are all ODBC. Okay. ODBT ODBC connection, ODBC command, and here I am giving insert into table name values these values now execute so it will insert then we have a delete De delete also we can write the odb i have taken the odbc connection connection open and connection close we need to do one minute close Connection close. Okay. And the same thing I need here. Okay. So now this one. Okay. Let's see. Database is why not connecting here now. So now it is connecting. I think I have not clicked the button. Let's see. So if I open the database, there is a table. Okay. So there, how many Vina? The here Vina and here Vina. So here Mumbai is there Mumbai. Now I am changing it. So let me run it. Let me run. So run it. Okay. Close it. Now here. Again open. Let's see. See Mumbai convert to Jaipur. So SQL command I am using and updating is okay. I'm not using any JSON. I'm just using the SQL commands. Okay, if I run again run, see. Jaipur, Jaipur is coming, okay. Now, uh, update, I am uh, commenting. Now there is a insert data. If I run it, it will insert data. What data it will insert? Let's see. Mm. Mohan Chennai. Name address. Okay. Again open it. See, Mohan Chennai is coming. So here <coughs> let's see the other which is delete right so delete what we are doing delete what we are doing wherever we nine is there we are deleting Okay, run it. Okay, 
let's see so wherever name vinay was there deleted fine and mohan is only there name so this is how we can use the sql commands this is we connected using odbc and i have used on all sql commands to work with mongodb uh, next next i will use some other uh, next i will use some other driver and explain in a different tutorial thank you